Hi, today we're gonna have a look at Ragas. Ragas is a framework that allows you to evaluate retrieval augmented generation. This allows you to perform metrics-driven development. So for example, you want to change the chunk size of a text splitter, you then can run a rack pipeline and see if metrics like faithfulness, answer relevancy or context record increase or decrease. You can also use Ragas in combination with Langsmith or Langfuse to monitor your app in production. In this video, I will show you how Ragas works and what you can do with it. Okay, I'm in VS Code, and as you can see, we've got multiple files here on the left. The first important file here is the catbank.txt. This is a text about a fictional bank which offers some information to cats. So this is the uh, information we want to index and put in our vector store. The second very important file is this Docker Compose YAML, and this contains two services, Langfuse. So this is a service for monitoring your applications in production. And then we've got our database, which is PG Vector. This is nice and useful because we can use it in combination with Langfuse and we don't have to set up another SQL database to, to run it. Okay, so first let's start with installing the requirements. So we run pip install requirements.txt inside a virtual environment. This contains Ragas, Langchain, and some other packages. So you can also install it this way on your machine. And after that, we can open a new terminal and run docker compose up. This will now download and set up Langfuse and also PG Vector. So here we can see that the database is running and also Langfuse is running on port 3000. So let's go back to the other terminal and now let's start to import our data. So we use a text loader from Langchain to load the data. We then use the load method of the loader to load the document into memory. Currently, this is only a single document. So normally you want to split your document into multiple chunks. So you make your document smaller to create better embeddings later. And this can be done with a character text splitter or a recursive character text splitter, doesn't really matter. So we just want to create some smaller chunks in this example. So let's run it. And after that, we've got multiple chunks. And now what we have to do for Ragas is to update the metadata attribute of this chunk. So I'm gonna show you how that looks like if you're not familiar with Langchain or not too much. So this is how the list of documents look like. So we've got a list and this is a document instance with, which has got page content attribute and a metadata attribute. So here's the metadata attribute. And yeah, we want to update it and we have to set for Ragas this file name. So we just override it by the original source of that document, and now we can use it for Ragas. So the first thing we want to do is with Ragas is we want to create a test set. We can do this in combination with OpenAI. So we've got this test set generator class from Ragas, which we import and we use the with OpenAI class method on it. So we've got this generator. And what we're gonna do now is we pass the chunks to this generator and set a text size and also distribution of what kind of data set we want to create. And this can be used for evaluation of your rack pipeline. So let's run this code. This will now create a few new data sets. As you can see here, we generate a new data set. We make requests to OpenAI, so this costs some money, but not too much. You can also use a private model, of course, but I'm gonna show you this example with OpenAI. Okay, so we've got our data set and we can use the to pandas method of that to create a pandas data frame from our test set. And this is how it looks like. So we've got a few questions. These were all generated with OpenAI. We've got the contexts. So this is the data we want to use for evaluation. We've got some ground truth with which was also created by OpenAI and then we've got our evaluation type and this is the distribution. So we've got 50% of simple evaluation then reasoning and yeah. So that's our data set and we can now use the data set to perform evaluation on that. I've seen that you can also load a test set or multiple test sets from Ragas but to be honest, I don't really like that. I, uh, the performance was a little bit underwhelming. So what I want to do is I create my own vector store, put in the data, 
and then perform evaluation on our own. So what we're gonna do is we create a vector store with Chroma and OpenAI. So we need the OpenAI embeddings class, create an instance, this is our embedding function. We pass the chunks to the from documents method of Chroma to create our vector store and then convert it to a retriever to have a standard retrieval interface. We also use a chat model to perform evaluation and create a final answer. This can be done with chat OpenAI. So let's run this. Okay, this worked. And now what we're gonna do is we want to create a prompt template. This is a standard rec prompt template. So where we pass in the context is the data from our vector store and we pass a question. So this prompt template has got two variables and now we want to create our rec chain. So we, this is the standard rec chain you can see in many examples. It has a dictionary with context, which is the retriever where we pass the data from the retriever to the context and we just pass in the question um, without changing it. So we use a runnable path through, pass it to the prompt, which has got this context and question variable. Here you can see the key matches. We pass that to the model and pass the result of the model to our STR output parser. So this is now our chain. And now we want to test how good this data set actually is and how good our retriever is. So first let's create a list from our test set. So I'm gonna show you how that looks like. We do that again, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. I can also just delete that. So I'm gonna show you the first question. So this should be 10 questions now. Here you can see these are the questions which our rec system should answer. We then have a list of the answers, which is currently also empty, the context, which will be retrieved from our retriever, and also the ground truth. The ground truth also comes from our Ragas dataset. So what we're gonna do now is we loop over our questions and just append that query to our questions list here. So this is the empty list. We just append it query unchanged, but for the answer, we perform the invoke method of our model or our chain and pass in that question. So this will return an answer from our model and we also put that inside that list. We also use the get relevant documents method of our retriever where we pass in the query and then store the page content, which is the extracted context and we store that in that list. So we've got the question, the answer and the context and the ground truth was already passed in here from, from this list. So we did not have to do anything inside this loop. We then use the dataset class of the datasets library, which is a dependency of Ragas, and create a dataset. We use the from dict class method, pass in the data, and this will now create our dataset, which we can run to perform our evaluation of the data. So from Ragas, we can after that import the evaluate function and we can also import some metrics. So we've got faithfulness, answer relevancy, context relevancy, context recall, and context precision. And we can all pass that as list to the evaluate method. If we don't pass in anything, so let's comment that out, then it will use all five of our metrics. If we don't want to use all of them, we can just remove one or another. So we pass in the data set and the metrics under the hood, and this will return our result. So this will again take a few seconds because we have to make a request to OpenAI to perform the evaluation. And now we can use the result and turn that into a pandas data frame again. So this is how it looks like. I prefer a visualization of that. So we can use a heat map, for example, and see where this performs well. So I use Seaborn to do that. So let's create that data set. And here we can see that for context relevancy, our rec system performs currently pretty bad, but for the other metrics, it performs pretty well. But yeah, this is just a little example. So I did not put too much effort into creating a very good data set, of course. But what you would do now is you, for example, would use another text splitter or a semantic text splitter, and then see if the metrics uh, get better or get worse and then tweak your systems in the direction which of course improve your rec system overall. Okay, now let's have a look at how we can use this with a length view. So first we have to go to localhost and port 3000. And the first time you want to sign up and after creating an account you want to sign in. 
Okay, this is how it looks like. And here on settings, you can create a new API key. You can also delete your old one. And then you just have to copy that API key and use it in the constructor. You can also put it inside your .env file. And yeah, this is how it works. You can also copy it from there. And now let's use that code. And what we're going to do now is we instantiate length views and run the trace method of that. We pass in the name of our trace, which we call eval. We pass in a user ID. So this is the user who performs the trace. We can also pass in metadata like the email of that user and also pass another text like evaluation. So this does nothing yet, but we can now iterate over our data sets. So first I will um, use the result and put it uh, to pandas. So I, I, now we've got a pandas data set and we can iterate over the rows. And now we can perform the score method of length views and put that result inside a length view so we can see that online. So let's go from settings to traces. And here we can see this is the time we performed the trace, the date we performed the trace, and also our user ID, which is here. And we also got a single trace ID. So here's the information, answer, relevancy, context, recall, and faithfulness. So let's drill down here a bit. Let's click on the ID. And here we can see the metrics which were performed on that evaluation. You can see the metadata and also this information, answer, relevancy, context, recall, faithfulness. So now we don't have to run a Jupyter notebook, but we can directly see the result of our evaluation in a user interface. Okay, so this is how you can use Ragas. If you're interested in how to perform that inside a CICD pipeline, please let me know that in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye-bye.